smell you. Is this motherfucker Gary Oak? He has the same hair and everything. What the hell is his problem? He didn't even apologize. He pisses me off. This is, he, yeah, that is literally Gary Oak. Gary Oak just pushed me down a flight of fucking stairs. <laughs> Hello everyone, my name is Karatek and I'm back in the grave with another episode of The Crooked Man and the last episode I wandered around for a couple minutes because I'm a fucking idiot. Now I'm gonna do what I should have done in the original one because, yeah, when I turned off the camera I went to this room over here and realized that I'd never checked the lockbox. Now, the reason I never checked this lockbox back here was because of this notebook right here. I figured, oh, I've already been in here, I don't need to pay attention to this room. Yeah, I was wrong. And, yeah, when I clicked it, I got that. Now, the last thing I remember was that 1687 password, I believe it is. I got my notes to be right here. It was 1647. Okay, let's see. That's what I got on my notes. I'm sorry for uploading this so late. <clears throat> oh, it is right. Awesome. Excuse me. I'm sorry for uploading so late. The reason I'm uploading so late is because... Oh, hello. What? <laughs> Fucking kidding me! Why, why? Why is it here? Back in the hotel, I—I I thought I killed it. Does it look like this thing can fucking die? Damn it! I'll think about it later. I gotta run. Gotta go fast. Oh god, I gotta go fast. Later, bruh. Going fast. Monster, I'm not going in. Lock. Oh. The whole reason I clicked on the door is because I wanted to lock it. What the fuck? Anyway, before I get interrupted again, the reason I've been late, I've been really sick the last couple of days, which is why I haven't been in the mood to upload. I say in the mood, I haven't really been fit to upload. Because the last thing I want to do is upload a video and then in the middle of it, you just hear, oh god, I gotta go to the, you know, I don't want to do that. So I decided to go ahead and postpone it and wait a little bit and yeah. So let's go ahead and see. Let's save right here. Thank you. Yeah, I'm back to play. We're doing this. We're gonna get like, this won't be a very long episode, maybe like 10 minutes, just because I want to get something uploaded for y'all. But I promise I'll be back to my normal schedule and then I'm feeling better, so. Blah blah blah, I thought I killed it. <clears throat> I'm not really sure what I'm supposed to do here. Let's lock the door. What am I supposed to do? I'm assuming you're supposed to lock the door. That, that is what you would think, right? Lock the door. Do I have to physically use the key? Is that why? Maybe that's the issue here. I have to do that. Item. Aha! Lock the room. In your face, bitch! Surely that'll keep me in. But this is so bizarre. I mean, back at the hotel. The hotel's hours away, isn't it? The thing is a broken fucking neck, and you're asking how it got here. Could it really be following me? Why? How? Damn it, this is making me nuts. Am I already going crazy? Am I just hallucinating this thing? Uh, no, pretty sure you're not. And again, it did attack Sissy. So it came from my imagination. It exists. Monster that it is. If that monster's here, I have to warn D. Oh, there's a duh. <laughs> My bad. Tell me you gotta get out of here. Fuck D. Gary Oak can suck a dick. I know I'm a horrible person, but I really don't care. D's an asshole. Gary Oak pushed me down the stairs. And as another fan said, he didn't even offer me a Pokemon. He didn't challenge me to a battle, nothing. He just knocked me down the stairs like an asshole. I mean, I get it. You and Ash have a rivalry. I don't want to hear it. You don't gotta push me down the stairs. My name is David. That's not cool. You don't do that to people. That's rude. Okay, I'm pretty sure... Is this the lecture? Yeah, it is. Alright. Oh, bloody hell. Locked. Friends, faculty, and staff, I thank you for coming today. Today is for us the best day of our lives. Because today, we leave the nest of our school and begin our climb to adulthood. Those who passed the bar exam, those who didn't, those becoming clerks or notaries or teachers. All of us will be graduating from this school and we owe a great debt to it. 
Though even if they manage to graduate, some of us may need to put a little more time into their studies. <laughs> but these graduates have one thing in common. They're filled with hope for their future. They're ready to challenge what lies ahead. A toast to our dreams, to our yet unsure futures, and may we have God's grace. Every time I see that little thing going off, I swear to God, the first thing in my head that popped was, A CLUE! A CLUE! And I have no idea why. Oh, God. The, how'd you into this lecture room? Wasn't the hallway locked? Eh. You forget I'm a graduate here? I know the secret ways, dummy. Huh. Well, what were you listening to? The tape? Yeah, from your graduation day. Man, has it really been three years? I was getting nostalgic for the place, and even abandoned, it really hasn't changed. It's just like it was when I was taking classes. Studying was wearing me out, so I came here for a breather. It's nice to have a, it's nice to have places full of memories like this. Question mark. You graduated, but you're still studying. Hey, lay off. Yeah, I couldn't pass the bar exam. So I'm cramming at home now. Next up's giving me my sixth attempt. There are lots of great guys in my class. Most of them passed it on one shot. Being a lawyer is in my dream since I was a kid, so I was so happy when I got accepted here. I felt I was one step closer to making it come true. The work was rough, and I just barely managed to graduate. And I think it's my kind, helpful professors that did it. I'll pass next time for sure. I mean, it's my sixth time anymore, and I'll be way behind my classmates. I'm sorry, but they do not want the D. Well, it's going to be motivated, but it's dangerous here. You should get out of here soon. Uh-huh. Dangerous? What? It's sort of hard to explain. There's kind of a monster here. It'll attack you if it finds you. I thought you were just some weird old guy wandering an abandoned school, but... Damn, you really are nuts, huh? Look here, Gary Oak. I will fuck you up, middle mister. Seriously, a monster? Even the girls don't believe that stuff. You're being a total doofus. Like, literally, he's... It's, it's Gary fucking Oak. Do you enjoy making fun of people? And I don't think I'm much older than... Ahem! Don't quarrel with me, alright? I'm a talented student be lawyer. You'd be no match for me. Alright, let's go, motherfucker. I just picked up Alpha Sapphire. Let's go. Ah, do what you want. But don't say I didn't warn you. Yeah, I will do what I like. Thanks. Like, I need a shitty punk like you. Tell me what to do it on my alma mater. You get out of here. I'm gonna like a bitch from this Pokemon battle because you know you can't handle it. Hey, Paul. I I got in. Oh, what? Really? You got in? To fight school? That's crazy, David. I can't even do a handstand. You can do whatever you put your mind to. Huh, thanks. But it doesn't make me a pilot yet. I still have to pass the exam. Man, dude, you totally will be. And make sure to give me a ride. I'd love to fly above a city sometime. Paul, I'm not going to fly passenger planes. I'm, it's not that kind of school. No one's worth the details. I'm glad for you. You did good. Hey, I'll take you to lunch today. Random flashback. Wow. Back then, I wasn't really thinking. I was just going wherever I wanted. I wonder if D is like that. I don't know, but there's a yellow object I want to grab. The Julie Stone newspaper is posted up. Big hand for Mitchell. Today we must pay tribute to Mitchell Statham. Wrote a dissertation, inserted an ad in scholarly book regal collection. It will be a great achievement of him, and he make a great contribution to our school. He is in Professor Cindy Peterson's class and majoring in global jurisprudence. I wonder if there's a way to, like, move this around or look at it. No, there's not. Okay. I feel like this is important. I, uh, life place, blah, blah, blah. Okay. So there's no item here. Alright, let's, let's go ahead and write down that number. Mitchell Statham. So just, just for reference purposes, Mitchell Statham, 619. I don't know if it's going to be important or not, but yeah. Check everything. Trash can's empty. Okay. Pokemon has taught me. Look at the garbage. Okay, so look up here. Oh, a piece of paper. Ooh. The rule matches these other pages, so he was here. Many hopes were fulfilled here. Many youths were blessed. 
but I didn't receive that blessing. What's so bad about me? I was never picked by anyone. It never made any, it made any sense. I loathe those days. He made a leaflet for this. He had a leaflet for the school. It was in the desk. It felt like it was important. Was he trying to be a lawyer like D was? I guess this imply he didn't become one. Okay, let's do a little bit more exploration. Blah, blah, blah. Auditorium. Well then, this looks like it's going to be interesting. We're almost done with this area, so I do believe this is about as good a time to go ahead and end the episode here with a nice save. So I'm going to be headed to the grave. Again, I'm so sorry this is such a late upload. Thank you all so much for watching, and thank you for all the kind comments. It really does mean a lot to me. But I'm going to be headed to the grave. Thank you all so much for watching, and welcome to town, everyone.